It sounds like you admitted that you hadn't paid federal taxes and that that was smart. Is that what you meant to say? No, I didn't say that at all. I mean, if they say I didn't, I mean, it doesn't matter. I will say this. I hate the way our government spends our taxes because they are wasting our money. They don't know what they're doing. They're running it so poorly. Whether it's spent in Iraq or wherever they're spending it, they are wasting our money. So I do hate the way our government spends our Patty money. Patty Salise Doyle just said on CNN that she didn't actually say what you said that she said, and she didn't fire. Because I got to see that on Wolf Blitzer. But in terms of just, she, she was explaining what happened, because she was there. And she said that what she fired a, a volunteer for was in trafficking, in saying that he was a Muslim, not about birtherism. So why don't you do this? Why don't you see uh, the reporter from Matlachi? Why don't you speak to Sidney Blumenthal, because he's never going to tell you the truth. But why don't you also just take a quick look at what she actually said to Wolf Blitzer? Did you take the bait? Did you take Hillary Clinton's bait? That was the moment. Well, I was very proud of the fact that I was able to get him to put up his birth certificate, and Hillary Clinton failed, because she can't bring it home. I mean, she just can't bring it home. And she'll fail with jobs, and she'll fail all the way along the line. And I think we proved that tonight. She failed with getting him to do it. I got him to do it, so I'm very proud of him. But what changed, sir? You never answered that question. Say it. Will you accept the outcome of the election? Oh, yes, absolutely. Mr. Thank you. All right, that was a live look at Donald Trump. I happen to have the tape of Marshall McLuhan here, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's play what Patty Stewart Doyle originally said on, on Wolf Blitzer. You just uh, tweeted a couple of tweets. Let me put them up on the screen. Uh, Hillary Clinton or her 08 campaign did not start birther movement, period. I was there. And then another tweet. Uh, I fired the rogue, and I called David Pluff to apologize for said rogue. Right, so what does that mean? You fired the rogue. Someone in the campaign, someone who was supporting Hillary Clinton, was trying to promote this so-called birther issue. What happened? Well, so... We absolutely, the campaign nor Hillary did not start the birther movement period, end of the story, there. Um, there was a volunteer coordinator, I believe, um, in late 2007, I think in December, uh, one of our volunteer coordinators in, uh, in one of the counties in Iowa. Uh, I don't recall whether they were an actual paid staffer, but they did forward an email that promoted the conspiracy. Um, the birther conspiracy? Hillary, yeah. Hillary made the decision immediately to let that person go. We let that person go. And it was so, you know, beyond the pale wolf and, you know, so not worthy of the kind of campaign that certainly Hillary wanted to run or that we as a, as a staff wanted to run that I called David Pluff, who was obviously managing Barack Obama's campaign in 07, um, to apologize and basically say that this is uh, was not coming from us. Uh, it was a rogue volunteer coordinator, and this was not the kind of campaign we wanted to run. And David very graciously accepted my apology. 